But let's talk about the importance of putting our focus in the right place. You know, what we measure, we manage. What we look on, we empower. You know, there are all kinds of pressures on, on us in society today that are demanding our attention. And if we can't pause and reflect on what's good, it actually will put your thinking at risk. It'll put your mental health at risk. It'll put what the environment you live in, it'll affect the peace. You know, here's an example. I was looking at the news today and I thought, wow, isn't this interesting how they said this? CNN news headline today, as it talks about, as Omicron cases fall, doctors anxiously await possible surge of dangerous complications. You know, even as they portrayed this, possible doc doctors anxiously. I don't think all doctors are anxiously awaiting. And then this possible surge of dangerous you know, there was a time news reported news, and now they're putting out stuff that actually, if we can't filter through, will actually release fear, and it'll release struggle into our lives. And so here it is. We have to actually pause and look around and determine what we want to believe, independent of our circumstances. You know, there can be all kinds of stress in your home. There could be things that you're struggling at in your finances. But if you can't put a positive spin on it and a plan to find your way forward, the demands or the pressures that are around you will actually affect your thinking. And we do this all the time in coaching, because if we're going to continue to look at the negative, we're not going to build positive solutions. So here's a flip from what the media said. We could celebrate that the Omicron virus was less lethal than we expected. We could celebrate how many of us have made through it. We could celebrate that the virus is actually probably diminishing its strength. We could celebrate that we've made it through more incredible things as humanity. We've made it through the plagues and dark ages. And, and so here we are, where we look will empower your reality. So the question is, what do you want to look at? How do you want to interpret it for yourself? And if sometimes because of our society, we've got to slow down. We have to spin things that are beneficial for us. So thanks for joining me. Wish you a great day. Take care.